I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, Maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. Since winning the Raw Women's Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. And you know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this lightly, not only could she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. What a series of strikes from one of the most prolific strikers in the game. From down below, ouch! That'll turn your lights out. Byron, but perhaps the most unique thing I've ever seen is when Bianca whips her opponents with her own hair. I have never seen anything like it, Michael. But I'll tell you what. If I was to give advice to anyone facing Bianca, it would be to turn the tables against her. Go ahead and whip her with her own hair. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Oh, the old European uppercut. The challenger is not in a great place. She's not rising to the occasion right now. at some of the highlights. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Reed. And the celebration's underway. And at this point, I think it's safe to wonder if the champ will ever lose the gold. Thanks for tuning in for this championship match and what an amazing match it was.
I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash-only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring. We've been informed this match has a rather unusual stipulation. If Trey can defeat our truth the truth will give Trey acting lessons to prepare for an upcoming audition. I have seen a lot of different matches over the years, but this is a first. Is our truth even qualified to teach acting? I mean, I'd like to see a certification because something tells me it doesn't exist. Well, putting the legitimacy of our truths credentials aside, that's what's on the line for Trey tonight. Great agility there. Suplex. Did as much. And the broom kick. Kiranagi. Man, oh man. And he kicks out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. I think you just put the entire WWE roster on notice with that victory. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw. Thanks again for helping me out. All right, on the set, the director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movies, workplace, dramas? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart-wrenching suspense. Oh, well there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the script. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man.
Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank and file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You will be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we wanna get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. Yeah. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck! Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm going to let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's going to be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, miss... Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity-dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? That wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director! The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock? Country? Hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're going to stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so... 
I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want a part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant his wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are you here? This is my turf. Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. Going off script with the slap, but I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? <sighs> cut! Cut! That's a wrap! Is anyone filming this? Is anyone... Get me a camera. Get me a camera now. Does that take you back anywhere? That was so honest! <gasps> like old times. <laughs> Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Oh, I can't wait to show this to my wife. Maybe I can win her love again.
Gerald, Gerald, clear my calendar for award season. my set. I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure. I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off, but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao.
This is such an intriguing matchup. But you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen. Because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Oh, there's the Irish curse backbreaker. Big boot. Oh, man. Look at his shots. Hooked him up. High angle belly to back suplex. She's feeling the hurt here. Some people say the Miz has an overblown ego when he calls himself the A-lister, but he really does have a successful career outside of the ring, too. You're watching Monday Night Raw. Byron, let's head back to the Miz's A-list career. Lately, he's hosted a variety of reality shows and has been a total Divas regular. In fact, he's the executive producer of a spin-off with Maurice called Miz and Mrs. And that's not even including his movie roles. He's the face of the Marine franchise and has done quite a few cartoons and Christmas movies, too. Float over neck breaker. Picture perfect. Oh, what a knee lift. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. The Miz with a nice reversal. Masterful execution by The Miz. Anticipated that attack perfectly. He might have been waiting on that one. Oh, able to counter. Striking combination. Oh, such vicious strikes. Ah, striking combination. The Miz definitely in a tough spot now. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. Uh, what is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French Kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It Couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Hey, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton. We've seen plenty of ladder matches in WWE history, but none quite like this where the script for the action film Rank and File 4 has been suspended above the ring in a briefcase. Whoever climbs the ladder and retrieves the script first will win both the match and the starring role. It's a travesty of justice that Miz even has to go through something like this to get a role that should have already been his. He is one of the greatest actors of our time. I don't know about that, but I do know that this lights, camera, action ladder match is going to be a smash hit with audiences and critics worldwide. Saxton, why don't you treat this like we're at the movies? No talking. Down with force. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Nothing is going to stop him now. Reversal. What a counter. Oh. 
He's going for it all. Back inside the room. Look out! Oh. Oh. The man is looking a little startled right now. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. He's stuck in the corner now. Trey Hammers Miz in the corner. It's Brooklyn Von Braun. I had a feeling she'd get involved tonight. Do you blame her? She wants Miz to win so she can have a legitimate co-star in the movie. And here's Red to stop Brooklyn from spoiling this match. This is pure jealousy. Red couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to help her friend, Trey. And it appears she's been able to accomplish that. Red has neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Cut, cut. There's no cutting in this match. Beautiful sent on. Boom. Keg. See ya. Thanks for coming. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Look at this, Byron. Getting that ladder position. Perfectly placed, if you ask me. Kenny and Hook it. Uh, it is all or nothing at this point. The ascent begins. Reaching up, this could be it. Looking to make a major statement to the rest of the locker room here, fellas. That yeah, statement's about to be made. He's been quickly taking control here. No need to maintain that aggression. We've got a climber. Look at this, can he grab it? It's inches away, getting closer. No matter how you feel about anyone's acting skills, this is a huge night for Trey. He beat a future Hall of Famer in a pressure-filled, high-stakes ladder match at the biggest party in the summer. As far as I'm concerned, Trey deserves the role and our respect. Now that's nice, but as of now, I'm officially boycotting rank and file four. Sorry, Brooklyn, I'll just have to catch you in your next film.